So Dark Moon Doll here. Today I just want to share with you um, a creation that I recently finished that is available for sale outside of my Etsy shop. And I wanted to share with you some creations that I'm recently working on that I'm almost finished with that you guys might like. Um, so the first thing is a dreadlock bead. And <clears throat> because I've been having problems with loading my uh, photos onto my Etsy shop with the Etsy app on my phone, I've been trying to sell things outside of my Etsy shop. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the things that you see on today's show, please contact me via email at blacknails31 at yahoo.com. And I'll try to put the links in the description below. And you can contact me that way if you see any of the art on this show that you'd like to purchase. And with everything that you purchase from me, you get a free handmade gift. So. This is one one of a kind dreadlock bead. It's a Rasta Elder. I used uh, a combination of different types of thread. The dreadlocks are made individually, one by one, using wound up thread, and then I sew it to form a dreadlock, <clears throat> a single dreadlock. Each little dreadlock made each little dreadlock and attached it. This bead was made. Um, from recycled fabrics. Um, let me show you, let me grab something to show you the circumference of the hole. Let's see. I used a, um, a fabric marker to form the hole for the bead. And right now I can't find that fabric marker. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, here it is. So this is the size, the circumference of the bead. All of it was hand sewn, hand embroidered, uh, and yeah, I usually create these pieces uh, one by one with no plan involved. I didn't plan on making a Rasta Elder. I really didn't. It just kind of came to life as I was embroidering. And with the choices of threads that I had, it was the perfect choice to just do that. Um, so you can use this for your dreadlocks. You can use it if you braid your hair and put the bead on the end. You can use it to adorn your... Um, handmade uh, handbags that you might make from recycled fabrics. I'm all about trying to convince people that it's a good idea to recycle fabrics as much as you can. So this is uh, the dreadlock bead that I have available. If you are interested, email me and we can talk. So, yeah, I haven't been able to list anything on my Etsy shop because of that fact, because my Etsy app on this phone does not wor is not working. I tried to install it and reinstall I tried to uninstall it and then reinstall it to see if that would make a difference, and it didn't. So um, this is what we got. <clears throat> I'm just putting my braid out to the side so you can see that it's not cut. People always ask me that whenever I wear my hair back in a braid or whatever, if I cut my hair. No, I haven't. So here's some um, kitchen goddesses I made that I think you guys would like. Um, on the back of them, I'm going to write a little mess, a special message on each one. But these are little kitchen goddesses I made from recycled fabric. Um, if you are interested in any of them that you see right now, please let me know. I'm going to have a name for each one. That way you can figure out which one you would like. And you can tell me which one. Um, I'm not done with all of them because I want to put, like I said, a little message on the back of it. And you could keep it hanging up in your kitchen to promote health and a happiness and joy within your home another one and I do want to give you a set of uh, gods as well little kitchen gods as well because I know there's men that like to get in the kitchen and throw down on some meals so these little little beings will help you make a nice meal a loving meal a meal nourishing and uh, helping to heal your friends and family so yeah, this has been fun. Um, I'm going to be working on this once I'm done with this video. Um, <clears throat> I've got I've got one that I'm working on right now. That's what it looks like. <laughs> They're so much fun, these little goddesses. And little dolls just in general. They're fun and they're relaxing. And um, the fabric that I used was a fabric from a curtain that I dyed. I uh, kind of tie-dyed it a little bit different uh, using this fabric dye that I was given from a, uh, a subscriber 
few years back, and I finally got around to using it. And I just tie dyed a little bit the fabric from this curtain. And yeah, I think it turned out really nice for for what I'm using it for, because it's some slight slight uh, discoloration in the uh, fabric they use for the dolls. You'll be able to see it better when you look at the photos that I put up. Um, I put a couple of photos up of these dolls, but I'm going to put up some even better ones. This is yeah, this is the one I'm working on. So on this one, I'm I'm trying to um, on the back. What I'm doing is putting the covering on the back, like I have on here, so that I can sign it and put a nice special message on there for you. So I want to bring to you guys something positive with all the negativity that's going on and a lot of crazy stressful things that are going on in people's lives I wanted to bring something just mellow and calm to you guys to help you come back to yourself and realize that all is not lost and if you take time out to be creative you'll find that that what's going on right now in your world is temporary and the ch things are always changing so keep that in mind when you're going throughout your days when you feel really stressed out, take some time out and create some art because it will help you to be balanced and focused on what's really important in this world. Creativity. So. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you're doing to be creative. And like I said, if you're interested Check out my, uh, my Etsy shop. Uh, email me if you're interested in buying the stuff that you see on today's show. It would help me greatly. Um, doing, having a, one hell of a time trying to make the ends meet with all that's going on. So whoever buys from me, from my shop or outside of my Etsy shop, I really greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it really helps with... Um, getting through a lot of tough things that I have to go through living where I live and yeah I'm sure you guys can totally relate <laughs> with that said brightest blessings to you all and if you'd like to donate to my channel you can go to my PayPal my Google Pay or my Cash App and uh, if you donate I'll create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you or I can um, create a video based on a topic that you choose so Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, brightest blessings to brightest blessings to you, one and all. And stay creative, and I'll see you soon.